Tomezi Entertainment. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I had right, trouble right. finding the place. I... Well, I was hoping to find out a little bit about my future. Maybe about, like, if anything... No, 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 no. I'm not the one you tell that to. Hello, and welcome. You're here to see what's in the future? Well, I'll show you. But first, let's talk about the past. The story I'm about to tell you will relate to you, and only you, do you understand? <laughs> uh, I guess so. Let me tell you about the first story, about James Randi, and the guy who blew smoke. Sure you were impressed. If you did not, let me explain that James moved a pencil without touching it, and James turned the page of a telephone directory without touching it. And you claim to have done that with psychic power. Yes. Now, you're prepared to demonstrate your psychic powers again. You've warmed up. You're ready to go, are you? Okay. Now, you saw James' demonstration from backstage. Yes, I did. And do you accept that as a demonstration of psychic power, or do you believe that he used trickery? I don't accept it as a demonstration of psychic power, Bob. I think that the solution is rather simple. I think that Mr. Heydrich is merely, to accomplish this effect, blowing on both the page and on the pencil. I see. Now, the demonstration with the pencil. Yes, and the reason is rather simple, because the pencil reacts to even the currents of the air conditioning in such a way that normal currents of air that are present all the time would not move the pencil. For example, it moves very, very easily. Right. You hope to the judge's satisfaction will demonstrate that he is doing it with his breath. That's correct. All right. A good puff, good heavy puff of air will, I think, rather conclusively show whether or not blowing is a method accomplished. Now, it will not James, James. ready. Okay, the styrofoam and the lights form electricity which pulls the page. Look. What would you like to ask us to ask Randy to allow you to do or for me to do? To either take something else, either light or foam. Foam causes static electricity and the lights is what heats it up. All right, Randy, is there anything else that you can put around the telephone directly? I've heard the question, but the question is not valid because it's making an assumption which is not true. The foam does not in any way create static electricity, and Mr. Heydrich, in demonstrating that the pages were clinging together, didn't demonstrate it to my satisfaction. Now, With psychic power to turn the page of the telephone directory, James. Okay. It's not going to uh, turn for you? No, it isn't. Well, have you reached the point then when uh, at, at which we can declare the demonstration terminated? This isn't a magician's trick. I can't just come up, bang, bang, and it's over. I have to be to where I can work with something small and then big, you know, to build up my own. Oh, man. 
Bob, the, the comment very briefly is that I have gone through many hundreds of these tests with many hundreds of people who claim to have psychic powers. And quite frankly, it's more or less the same story every time. When a simple, direct, very uncomplicated protocol is used and the control is applied, the psychic forces don't seem to be present, if indeed they are ever present at all. And because he was blowing smoke out of his ass, Randy caught him and he was exposed. You see how this relates to your situation, to your life? Not really. <laughs> Not really, man. Not at all. Okay. Well, I got another story for you. And this one should be a little more clear of what's going on. It's about a lady who thinks she can talk to the dead, but she's just full of shit. Please welcome my next guest, Maureen Flynn make a link with someone here tonight and bring a loved one through from the world of spirit taylor or the name of taylor will have a close connection with you uh my mother's maiden name is taylor because yeah. you see i have a gentleman here who links with that name very clearly and uh, yes. lungs heart condition and he would have linked with your mum and he came very clearly to bring his love to you i feel he's your granddad does that make sense to you yeah and who's, who's Jimmy? Do you know who Jimmy is? Come, come, picture or James. Jimmy. James? I'd love you to find. Hang on a minute. Do you know who Doris is? No, I can't picture that either. <laughs> okay. I know. I'm, and I don't know whether I'm saying Doris, Dorothy, or Doreen. But the Dory bit is right. And I know that I'm in this area, here. Can someone here take Doris? The name of John I want to give yeah. to. Does John make sense to you? No, but I think you've got him crossed with the last caller. Is James or Jimmy? James, Jimmy. Please forgive me, think. But he passed very suddenly and very quickly. And it's funny because I could feel something over his face. I could feel something over his face as if he would have had some kind of... This is most unfortunate you picked me, actually, because I'm a slightly non-believer. Uh, but does it make sense to you? Yeah, it does make sense. That's right. That's Hand. right. Yes, you've got my husband, so... Uh, but I'm really the wrong person for this program. Well, I'm I terribly sure sorry you should have told your husband that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. The, the fact of the matter is that obviously through all this he's been trying to reach you. Just... Mr. Beale, you're a satisfied client of Marines, I understand. Is that correct? Yes. She did a reading for you not too long ago, which I understand you think is, is a very good reading. Yes, she did. A few simple questions, if I may. First of all, how long did the thing last, first of all? The reading? About half an hour. About half an hour. Uh, how many names, pardon me, did she give you during that period of half an hour? Probably half a dozen. About half a dozen. During your reading, Maureen Flynn tried these names. Are they are on the tape of the reading that you're referring to? Alan, Alfred, Alice, Anne, Bill, Charlie, Colin, Connie, David, Derek, John, Karen, Catherine, Kevin, Lillian, Lisa, Liz, Ron, Shirley, Sydney, Stanley. That's 37 names. And she also asked you if you could connect with any name beginning with an N or an L. And the ones that were accepted, and you did accept nine of the 37 that were given. An adopted nephew, a grandfather, a fellow worker, a cousin, and the neighbor's dog. Now, That's right I'm, out of context. I'm sorry? Right out of context. We have a transcript of it right here, sir, and you may have that transcript to refer to it, and the names, I think, are seven. You can uh, analyze anything. You can an analyze Encyclopedia Britannica. Mr. Beale is here because he felt that what he actually got on that tape made sense to him, very much so. And then everyone saw what a true thieving bitch she was. Yes, do you see the similarities now? What's going on? No. You're something special, aren't you? I have one final tale. If you can't tell by then, uh, then you're an idiot. But this one is the biggest scam of them all. Because this guy was originally respected. The Lord 
I suspected that Popoff's revelations were other than divine. The radio scanner we brought to the hall picked up a decidedly worldly source. Hello, PD. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. Is it Popoff was being prompted by his wife through a wireless earpiece. Jody D. No, should be right there on your right side. She'd gotten her information from prayer cards filled out by the faithful before the show began. She lives at 1627 10th Street. 1627 10th Street? Is that right? That's right. She has arthritis all over. Burning this arthritis right out of your butt. That's disturbing when you see it. After the scam was exposed, Popoff dropped out of sight and declared bankruptcy in 1987. This guy popped up again in 2007. And this is now. His ministry took in more than $23 million in 2005, encouraged to send away for his free miracle spring water. And that's why I want you to have salt. I'm supposed to sprinkle it over a check made out to pop off for $27. It's really just a tiny package of salt <laughs> in a deli or fast food restaurant. So, do you see the similarities now of what's going on in your life and what's going on right now? No. Are you serious? Dude, they're talking to a fucking head in a bulb. Not you really. Said, I don't know what, what that story has anything to do about me. Dude, it's a scam. This whole thing's a scam. That's what I'm telling you. I'm sorry to drop the ball, Billy. But this guy's an idiot. He can't rip up morons like this. I mean, ooh, give us money. How much money? Thank you for watching three of the best moments of The Amazing Randy. If you enjoy this, please leave a comment below, a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. All right, bye-bye.